As you log into Xero, the first page you arrive at is the dashboard. The dashboard is where you can navigate to all parts of Xero, as well as being an overview of how your business is doing financially. We can get to other parts of Xero by using these tabs at the top of the page and the drop downs, or we can click on any of the links throughout the screen. For example, if I want to create a sales invoice, I can go to the Accounts tab and click on Sales. It takes me to the Sales dashboard. If I go back to the main dashboard, clicking on Go to Sales or Money Coming In also takes me to the Sales dashboard. So what information does the dashboard tell me about my business? Any bank accounts that have been set up in Xero will show on the left hand side. If we want to change the order they are showing or not have certain bank accounts showing on the main dashboard at all, go to Banking or go to Accounts and Bank Accounts. Under each of the bank accounts that have been set up, we now can change the order on the dashboard. So I can move the Business Savings account to show above the Business Bank account by using this arrow and it's reflected on the main dashboard. There we are. I could decide that I no longer use this savings account but I haven't shut it. I just don't want it showing on the main dashboard. So if I go back to the banking screen, I can then untick this box, show account on dashboard. Going back to the main dashboard, it's no longer showing. On the right hand side, we have an account watch list. This only shows on the dashboard if you have accounts in the chart of accounts marked to show here. If you have any accounts you would like to keep an eye on, then go to the chart of accounts, find an account, so we're looking for expenses, uh, entertainment, sorry. Now once you open the account, you can see these three tick boxes. Tick show on dashboard watch list. When I go back to the main dashboard, we have entertainment showing on the account watch list. This watch list gives you the balances for the current month as well as the year to date balances. Underneath the watch list is a graph showing amounts due on sales invoice for invoices for, for past months <laughs> and for the current month and for future months. Hovering the cursor over a column will show you the total amount due in that month. Clicking on the column will take you to the list of invoices that make up that figure. It's just one in this case. If we go back to the main dashboard, we can also see there is a total for the amount of draft invoices that are being created at the moment. There are two being created and it also shows us that we have nine overdue invoices with a total of just over 9,000 owing to us. The same applies to purchases. Although this time, the graph shows amounts owed on particular dates for now and the future three months. Underneath this, we have expense claims. This is personal to whoever is logged in. You can add receipts as well as see how your current claim is building your claims that are awaiting authorization and your claims that are awaiting payment. You can also, although you can't view any other staff expense claims until they are sent for approval, you can see how many claims are being created and the overall total building up. So how is this demo company doing? Well, we can see in the bank account, we have £17,000 in the bank. We can also see that we are due just over £9,000. But unfortunately, we are very bad customers ourselves because we have 
13,500 to pay out in overdue bills. But overall, we are in a healthy position.